Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Gavieta, back again with another video. In today's video, I just wanted to show you guys my new piercing and talk about my experience and all of that jazz because I know when I want to get something pierced, I always spend hours just going through YouTube videos on everyone's experience and all of that before I actually get it done. So I thought it would be helpful to someone if I just shared my experience on my root piercing. So let's just get started. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. You know what to do. But yeah, let's get started. I got my ear pierced at Blue Tony Toy in Florence, Italy. I have some footage of the actual shop because it was so cool. I've never seen anything like that. It was literally like an art gallery and it was so clean and everyone was super nice over there and helpful. So cool. As for price, I paid 35 euro for it and it was a special like I literally got the piercing because they were having like a four year anniversary sale so it was 35 euro which converts to about like a little less than 40 American dollars or about 40 American dollars which I didn't think was that bad because I did pay for the experience of the shop, the cleanliness, like just the it's a popular shop so you're gonna pay a little more there and I just got a regular sterling silver bar which I'll show you close-ups in a second I just want to get all my talking out of the way this is the piercing by the way these two star earrings are from Brandy I also have my tragus pierced and my third and fourth I just don't have those earrings in but this is what it looks like as for pain, it wasn't that painful. I had gotten my pier my rug pierced before a few years back, but I took it out because I had gotten my conch and my rug pierced at the same time. So it was just hard to sleep like just straight up because I'm a side sleeper. So I took it off and that time, the first time I got it pierced, it hurt so bad. So I was very nervous going into this because I swore it was gonna hurt as bad as the first time. But the guy that pierced my ear was very nice and he knew I was like kind of scared to get it done because I thought it was going to hurt. So he kind of applied pressure to kind of like freak, not, I don't even know how to explain it. Like he applied pressure with two Q-tips to get me ready for the actual piercing. So by the time he actually pierced it through, I did not feel it at all. Well, I felt like pressure, I just didn't feel it actually go through, if that makes any sense. I didn't hear a pop or anything. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I do have a high pain tolerance, so I would say like maybe a 3. Like it didn't hurt at all. Like I would totally get it done again because he was so gentle and he knew what he was doing. He's a very popular guy. I put like all his Instagram and stuff down below. I wasn't able to film the actual piercings, like him piercing my ear and stuff because they just don't allow that there. But yeah, I just basically went into his little shop and it was super sterile. There was like sterilization machines everywhere and he had just like a normal, I guess like tattoo chair that I laid on and he did that. It was very sterile. He wore gloves, showed me that every. Oh my gosh, that scared me. He showed me that everything was clean. Yeah. As I had a pretty good experience, I would recommend anyone get it. So I'm just going to show you guys it now. I love it and yeah. I love it and then from the side, that's what it looks like. So that's the piercing. I absolutely love it. I would recommend anyone get it. It was not that painful. Well, in my opinion, it wasn't that painful. It would, I would say it's a little more than just a regular cartilage piercing pain-wise. I do have my conch on the other ear and that one hurt a lot. If you guys want to see a video of like all the piercings I have, let me know because I do plan on doing it and I would love for you guys to want me to do it. Uh, let's see, what else can I tell you guys about it? Oh, I can tell you how I clean it and all of that. Now I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about aftercare. Every shop explains aftercare to you differently, but my shop recommended me to get 
sorry, I'm scratching my nose. My shop recommended me to get some saline solution. You can find it at any drugstore, like over the counter. But I just went to the pharmacy. They gave me like this little slip because obviously I'm in Italy and I don't speak Italian. But they gave me a slip that I just passed to the pharmacist and they just gave me what the slip said. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can get it in America. I'll try to find it on Amazon or something or something similar to it. And basically after he was done with the piercing, he just explained to me the aftercare, which was not to touch or like twist or play with the piercing. I feel like that's pretty obvious. He told me the healing time for the actual piercing was six months. And then after three weeks of getting it, I could go back into the shop and change it out for a shorter um, like earring. So I'm gonna do that in a few weeks. And in the shower and stuff, he told me just to run the water like you normally would, like put your head under the shower and just let the water rinse it through. And when you're done, just pat it dry. And then once a day, I use these saline solutions. They look, they're super cool. I've never seen anything like this in America, but it's basically brings 15 of these tubes. And then I just, and then I just tear off the top. I'm not going to do it now because I already cleaned it and you just like squeeze the tube in there, get all in there and clean it out and then pack dry. And that's once a day. So uh, yeah, that's about the aftercare. I think that's all that I really have to say. Besides, I had a great experience with it. The second time around, the first time around, it was not a not so good experience, but I love it and I do plan on getting more piercings, so I'll probably end up making a video about those too. The next one that I want to get is like a surface um, cartilage piercing like right here and I think they're so cool because I want like a constellation kind of thing going around with my ear. So yeah, I will see in the future if I ever get that but I hope you guys like this video and let me know if you have any questions or anything on the actual piercing down below. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for my next video.